The purpose of this tutorial is to uh, show how to graph using a table of values the exponential relation y equals 2 to the x. And uh, in my table here, I'm using the numbers from negative 3 to positive 3. And the reason I'm using those numbers is because it gives us a shape, or what the shape of the graph is, uh, for x values around 0, a little bit below 0, a little bit above 0. I could take numbers bigger than 3 or below negative 3, because, but they become either extremely large or very close to 0 and difficult to graph. And I'll show that a little bit after I, we finish the graph. Now, um, I'm going to start at the bottom of the chart here. I'm going to put 3 in place of x. We normally start at the top, but I'm going to start at the bottom, and there's a reason for that. I'm going to kind of show what the pattern is, how you get the last several numbers here. So I'm going to put a 3 in place of x here, so we're evaluating 2 raised to the power of 3. And remember, this power, that 3 in the exponent, mean, it tells us how many of these 2's in the base are multiplied together. So that means 2 times 2 times 2. There are 3 2's. And that multiplies to 8, so we'll put an 8 here. Next one, when we put 2 here, we're going to be evaluating 2 to the power of 2, which is 4, because 2 times 2 is 4. So we'll put a 4 here. When we put 1 in place of x, 2 raised to the power of 1 is just the number 2. So we'll put a 2 here. And notice what's happening as we move up the table here. Every successive y value is half the size of the one before it. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 divided by 2 will be 1. So if we put 0 in place of x, 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And if you're taking this grade 10 math course, I'm going to talk about the 0 exponent and the negative exponents in another uh, at another time, so I'm not going to handle them here. But I'm just trying to show this pattern how we get these other numbers up here. So uh, again, dividing by 2, dividing by 2, so divide 1 by 2, I get 0 0.5. So if we, if we raise 2 to the power of negative 1, we should get 0 0.5. And if I divide 0 0.5 by 2, I get 0 0.25. And divide 0 0.25 by 2, I get 0 0.125. And Maybe I'll show that calculation here. So 2 raised to the power of negative 1, just to verify that is 0 0.5. And 2 raised to the power of negative 2 is 0 0.25. So that's where that comes from. And 2 raised to the power of negative 3 does give me this 0 0.125. Now, uh, well, I'll bring the calculator back in a moment. I was going to talk about the big numbers, but we'll finish the graph here. So we've got these ordered pairs. So this would be negative 3.125. This would be negative 2.25. Negative 1, 0 0.5. Uh, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 4, and 3, 8. So that's the ordered pairs we're going to graph. Now, these first couple are a little bit difficult to graph because the y values are pretty small. See, 0 0.1, so negative 3, 0 0.125. So I'm going to go left 3 from the origin. And I'm only going to go up 0.125. It's a pretty small part of up to up to 1. So the dot is just barely above the, uh, the x-axis. And then uh, negative 2, 0 0.25 will be a little bit higher here. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the next one, too, and then talk about these three. A way you can um, see that they're reasonably accurate. So negative 1.5. So negative 1.5. See, 0.5, that's pretty easy to see. It see is exactly half the way from 0 up to 1. And remember, we were dividing by 2. So remember, this is half of this. This is half of this. So this one here should be half as high as that one. And this one here should be half as high as that one. So it looks pretty close. So now, next we're going to do 0, 1. So 0, 1 would be here. And then 1, 2, so 1, 2 would be here over 1, up 2. And then 2, 4, so right to 2, up 4, so we'll put a dot right there. And then 3, 8, so over from the origin 3 and up to 8, the last dot's going to be right there. And we'll draw our curve through it. That's what the shape of the exponential curve, y equals 2 to the x, looks like. So that's the shape, general shape of the exponential curve. Now a little bit about, let's bring the calculator back here. So let's say I use 4 here. 2 raised to the power of 4. Well, that's 16. So see, I'm, I'm up off the top of the graph. Or if we go you know, a larger negative down below negative 3, like 2 raised to the power of negative 5. 
point zero so that would be the y value so you know if we go down to negative five here that is so small it's so hard to tell that it's actually still up off the uh, the x-axis so that's another reason why I didn't use like numbers like negative four or negative five in place of x and so that's the shape of the exponential curve and that's the end of the tutorial